Kim Kardashian's ex-BFF Larza Pippen tells all about her potential relationship with Harry Jousey and a whole ton of Kar Jenner drama. Y'all, there's so much to get into, so stay right here. How's it going, y'all? I'm Amy Cassandra Martinez. If you're just as invested in the Kar Jenners and their ex-BFFs, relationship and drama, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. Larsa Pippen, Kim's ex-BFF, was on the Hollywood Raw podcast and addressed her dating rumors with Too Hot to Handle's Harry Jowsey. Larsa was asked if they were together and she said this. Um, no, we're just friends. Like, I literally just met him maybe three weeks ago or whatnot. He's adorable. I love him. He's a really cool guy, friends. yeah. We, we had so much fun. He's got great him. personality. He's super fun. Larsa is 46 and Harry is 23. So the topic of age came up. She said she doesn't judge people on their age because she bases things off of who they are and not age. But perhaps some of the biggest bombshells dropped in the interview were about her friendship with Kim, Kanye, and what she said Travis lied to Kylie about. Larsa said that her friendship with Kim ended because Kanye didn't want Kim hanging out with her. Then she threw this shade Kim's way. I was in a situation when Scotty and I had art issues. He didn't want me to hang out with them. Scotty was not happy about my relationship with them. Scotty was didn't want me to take my kids over their house. We, you know, we had issues like that too. And I was strong enough where I was just like, I'm not going to let you dictate what I do. Like I'm just not that person. Mm. As for the reason why Kanye didn't want them to hang out anymore, this is what she said. He, cause he literally has brainwashed the whole family into thinking that like, I don't even know what, I don't even know. Then things got even weirder when she said she was Kanye's go-to person. He used to call me at four, five and six o'clock in the morning. And I was like the person that would take his calls at four, five and six in the morning when he wanted to rant. And I would listen to him and I would be like, I love you, you're the best, like things will get better. Like Yikes, that's strange. Larsa said she was the reason why Kanye and Kim even got together in the first place and that she called Kim saying not to marry Chris Humphreys because she was supposed to marry Kanye. She also said that one time Travis called Kylie while they were at a party and said that Larsa was flirting with him, which she says was a total lie. So much weird stuff happening, honestly. This Twitter user was quick to point out one of the weirdest parts of it all, tweeting, this lady Larsa Pippen said she was Kanye's go-to, that he he would call her at 4 and 5 in the morning to vent. If I was Kim Kardashian, I'd beat her. Ain't no reason why another woman, especially my friend, should be my husband's go-to. But also, I mean, that's kind of a conversation to have with your husband because it takes two to tango. As for how Kim feels about this whole situation, a source told E! News that Kim doesn't appreciate the accusations regarding Kanye. The family is very protective over one another and all feel like she violated their privacy by dishing out details to the public. And apparently, as for Kanye, he never trusted Larsa. I'm just wondering what the heck is gonna happen now, you know? What was the craziest part of it all for you? Let me know in the comments below and make sure to watch the morning tea to find out what Jordan Woods said about what Larza said about Tristan Thompson. It's this whole thing. Make sure you watch, subscribe, and don't forget to turn on that notification bell.